part two of uh, KPSC Junior Instructor Electronics Previous Year Question Discussion Series. We are going to see some more questions. Uh, in the part one, we have actually discussed some questions. In this part, we will be discussing some more questions of 2017 uh, examination of junior instructor. Okay. So, let us see the first question. You will be seeing the questions on board. Okay. So, uh, the first question is from Digital Electronics. The expression, it is actually given as bar. So, you have to actually read it as a b c bar okay so this is actually the expression can be simplified as dash so this is a b c bar and it can be simplified as a complement plus b complement plus c complement or a bar b bar a bar plus b bar plus c bar so this is the expression coming and this is actually coming due to d morgan's law now what is d morgan's law it is a very important and the most useful law in uh, Boolean simplification. And it is stating that if an expression, I will write it here. If an expression is coming like this, A plus B, the whole complement, you can write it as A complement into B complement. Okay. So, this is first De Morgan's law. Then, A, B, the whole complement, it can be written as A complement plus B complement. Okay. So, this these are the two laws of De Morgan's. And here also if you examine, you ha we have actually applied the same concept. Here there are two variables. Here there is three variables. A, B, C, whole bar can be represented as or can be uh, written as A bar plus B bar plus C bar. Okay. So, correct answer coming is option D. That is, for every expression you can see single inverted commas uh, at both the ends. Okay. So, don't get confused with this. Com, um, that is, they are just single inverted comma, nothing else. Okay, it is not representing any uh, complements. So, the expression is bar A plus bar B plus bar C. That is, A bar plus B bar plus C bar. Correct answer is option D. Okay, next question. Second question is, CMO circuits are extensively used for one chip computers mainly because of their dash low power dissipation high co uh, low cost high noise immunity large packing density so one chip computer means we are going to actually keep all the elements on a single chip okay and why we are actually using cmos circuits because because of their high packaging density or large packaging density we can accommodate all the components on onto a single chip and this concept has uh, led to the evolution of system on chip or SOC concept. Okay, so this is again a, a new concept in electronics field, in VLSI field. Okay, so this is called system on chip or SOC. Means we are going to manufacture or we are going to place all the components of a system of a, or a, of a computer onto a single chip. That is called one chip computer or one chip uh, system technology. Okay, that is system on chip. Okay, so here the question is asking what property we are actually using. It is called large packaging density, which is option B. Next question. That is the third one. Third question is the principal advan uh, sorry, disadvantage of a piezoelectric transducer is that it dash. That is, the question is asking what is the disadvantage of a piezoelectric transducer? A. Can measure only force, cannot measure static conditions, is too small to handle. D. Produce only DC voltage. Correct answer is piezoelectric transducer means it is actually going to convert some stress or strain or some mechanical energy to electrical form. So, when it is under dynamic conditions, only it can, only then it can produce an output. Okay. Under static conditions, it cannot produce output. So, that is the biggest disadvantage of a piezoelectric transducer. Correct answer is option B means it cannot measure static conditions only when there is a mechanical force or some stress or strain applied to this transducer it will be producing an output that is called the piezoelectric effect okay so it cannot measure static cases or static conditions that is the biggest disadvantage okay correct answer is option b next one fourth question loading effect is Principally caused by dash instruments. Theory question again. A. High resistance. B. Low sensitivity. 
see high sensitivity d high range so loading effect is actually caused because of low sensitivity devices if the sensitivity is high means the loading effect will not actually occur okay so due to the low sensitivity devices the loading effect is caused okay correct answer is option b again a theory question only okay next question fifth one total internal reflection can take place when light travels from dash air to glass glass to air rarer to denser medium d denser to rarer medium correct answer is when light actually this question we have discussed uh, previously and i was receiving some doubts regarding this question so the correct answer is when the light is traveling from a denser medium to a less denser or a rarer medium only then light will undergo total internal reflection okay so consider that this is a separation between the two mediums this medium is a denser medium and this is a rarer medium okay so when light is traveling from the denser medium to the rarer medium here it will undergo total internal reflection okay so the total internal reflection is happening the question is actually total internal reflection can take place when light travels from so it can be only from denser to rarer medium only then the total internal reflection is happening okay correct answer is option d next question okay so the question is from optical fibers the structure of an optical fiber consists of dash a multi mode step index b graded index c single mode step index d all of this so the structure of an optical fiber is actually having all of this it can be multi modded it can be single modded it can have step index or graded index now if you want to have a detailed uh, revision or a quick revision actually of optical fibers there is a video which is given in optical communication playlist and also for all the main subjects of electronics we have separate separate playlist and towards the beginning of the uh, every playlist i have uh, given formula revision videos that is quick revision videos has been placed at the beginning itself and below that you can see subject wise videos okay so if you are somebody who is uh, interested in studying uh, the entire topic or the entire subject very quickly you can make use of the quick revision videos and if you are interested in topic wise studying then below this uh, quick revision videos you can find the topic wise videos okay so and also if you want any other topics please do mention that in the comment section we'll be doing the uh, subject wise videos okay so here the question is asking optical fiber uh, that is what all things are present in the optical fiber structure so all these things are actually present so correct answer is option d all of the mentioned or all of the above next question noise margin is expressed in dash decibel b watt c volt d phone so noise margin is expressed in actually volt again we have discussed this question also while uh, discussing some uh, many questions are actually uh, we have discussed so here the question is asking noise margin is expressed in which unit so if the question is asking noise figure it will be in decibel but the question is noise margin it is expressed in volts okay so the unit is volt correct answer is option c is the correct answer okay next question that is a one an xor gate produces an output okay so this question is actually connected with the truth table of an xor gate again this is a very basic question consider that a and b are the input the output is y when it is 0 0 output is 0 0 1 output is 1 1 0 output is 1 and 1 1 output is 0 so this is the case for a xor gate so xor gate produces output when two inputs are dash correct answer is c different when both the inputs are different you can see clearly when inputs are different output is 1 otherwise it is 0 okay correct answer is c next question Ninth question, in JFET, IDSS is known as dash, drain to source current, drain to source current with gate shorted, drain to source current with gate open, 
none of the above so idss is called drain source saturation current okay drain to source saturation current so it is actually drain to source current with gate shorted okay correct answer is option b next question that is a 10th tenth question which of the following devices has highest input impedance a j fet b ordinary transistor c crystal diode d mosfet so mosfet is a device which is having high input impedance and also mosfets are if you talk about the main properties of mosfet mosfets are low voltage devices they cannot handle high voltages okay so mosfets are having high input impedance and they can handle high frequency it can be used for high frequency applications also okay low voltage devices and it can be used for high frequency applications so these are the main properties of mosfets okay so here the correct answer is option d that is so 11th question in scr is turned off when dash anode current is reduced to zero gate voltage is reduced to zero C gate is reduce reverse bias D none of this. So there are various methods to turn on and turn off uh, SCR. So one that is when the uh, SCR is turned off means anode current is reduced to zero. Okay, so that that is a main case when the SCR is turned off. That is you have to reduce the current flowing through anode to zero. Okay, correct answer is option A. Next question, 12th question, a diac is a dash switch, A, AC, B, DC, C, mechanical, D, none of this, correct answer is A, a diac is a AC switch, okay, you can see the diagram of diac now on the screen, so this is a diac and it is a AC switch, okay, so it is actually asking the basic uh, property of a switch, sorry, of a diac, so it is an AC switch, okay. Correct answer is option A. Next question. A UJT may be used as dash. A amplifier. UJT means it is unijunction transistor. Okay. UJT or unijunction transistor. A amplifier. B sawtooth generator. C rectifier. D none of this. Okay. So this UJT is mainly used as a sawtooth generator. Okay cannot be used as rectifier or anything it can be used as a sawtooth generator correct answer is option b is the correct answer okay so these are the questions that we have included in this video we have actually discussed 13 questions mostly the questions uh, were from theory part only so if you examine the previous year questions of junior instructor you can see that the questions are mainly from uh, moderate to ec level only so it is actually uh, simple to crack this examination if you do a very good preparation okay so uh, if you want to have preparation classes you can please mention it on the comment session we'll be continue doing this series of previous year question discussion and also if you want any uh, subject wise videos any topic uh, related videos please to mention that also in the comment session okay and another important thing i want to tell you that there is a sub separate separate subject wise playlist created for all the important subjects and you can make use of those playlists also and there is also another playlist called formula revision playlist in that i've included all the uh, various subject quick revision and formula revision videos okay so if you are going for a quick uh, preparation then you can make use of that playlist okay so anyway if you found this video useful please to give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching